Good evening. My name is Ajuri Ngilali, and you are most welcome to Africa's Future Leaders. This week on the program, we are excited to introduce you to young African leaders from around the continent as they share their diverse experiences, initiatives and passions with us. During the Global Summit of Young African Leaders in Washington, D.C., we were so blessed to have closely monitored the proceedings and we want to share our coverage of the event with you. Take a look. Against the backdrop of aging leadership and globally non-competitive rates of youth participation in governance, young African change makers unify in common purpose to personify a new and greater chapter in African history. Together, in Washington, D.C., they affirm that Africa arises. Good morning. 1,000 young leaders from across the continent say that the future is now and Africa's development trajectory depends on it. Whereby its leaders combine in their efforts to solve the problems of the continent. I pledged to leverage the wealth that can be found in the networks I developed on this very fellowship, collaborating with fellows across the length and breadth of our vast continent. And I did. Beaten, battered, broken, raped, and robbed. And yet here we are, living the very hope and prayers of our families. They call it Africa, but we, we call it home. Serving in their countries as young ministers, parliamentarians, elected officials, top professionals and civil society activists, these young leaders network and collaborate in a bid to answer the call of over one billion Africans in search of new hope and development. Stop reading how Japan did it. Stop reading how the U.S. did it, because the U.S. was solving a U.S. problem. Read what the problem is in Africa and then think of how Africa will do it. South Africa did not get independence on a platter of gold. This is followed by insightful Q&A sessions with established yeah. continental this leaders. Say, this generation should be a different type of generation. Investing $100 million in young African entrepreneurs over the next 10 years, African also, business titan Tony Elumelu advises young Africans. My confidence is uh, rooted in the fact that these young Africans have great ideas, better ideas than I ever had in my own time. All they need is helping hand. Mm -hmm. And if they succeed, Africa succeeds. The facilitating organization of the Mandela Washington Fellowship says its sustainability and potency lies in the inherent drive and networking capabilities of young leaders. Because while I think it's incumbent on us all to make sure that the benefits of globalization are shared more broadly across societies, I think programs like this help to show the possibilities. The potential extra income a girl will earn if she spends just one extra year in school. Young African leaders present here represent the ingenuity, purpose and potential of the next generation who remain yet undiscovered. Evidently, leadership with a service-centered perspective may soon become the norm as young Africans arise with the continent they now begin to lead. The summit which you have just seen is the more glamorous aspect of the leadership journey. But before they reach this stage, the young leaders you see on this program had paid their dues, quietly and selflessly working to enhance the lives of others in diverse ways. And their drive and example is what this program is all about. Across the continent you may or may not see them, but they are there. Most often with little resources and in the face of adversity, 
These young African leaders worked tirelessly for the good of others. They never sought recognition, but it found them. Over the course of this series, we bring you the stories profiling a new generation of African leadership, selfless, sincere, and driven by altruistic purpose to build a better Africa for posterity. These young leaders have chosen to answer the call of a diverse people and a blessed continent and prove beyond doubt that it is not about how much money you have or titles and certificates, nor is it about who you know, what God you worship or where you come from. It's about what is in your heart. With right intent and a diligent hand, you too can lead through service, and we hope to find you. Africa needs you. This is Africa's future leaders. Without further ado, we introduce you to a young man from an absolute monarchy who tells us why monitoring and evaluation is so important to him. 